what is going on everybody welcome back to the channel if you're new here we do upload pv content every single day so please consider subscribing if you are into that type of content today we're going to be looking at a team used by arrow one of the top players in the world he is i believe in the top 25 on the ranked leaderboards i'm going to leave a link to his channel up here twitch channel also a link to his twitter in the description basically in this video he's using tropius with razor leaf as lead and munchlax sort of operating as a safe switch at least that's my understanding of it. Uh, this first video here, we're going to take a look at best case scenario for this team. Tropius lead into the Azumarill. Going to switch out into the Haunter here. Go for the Leaf Blade because we know they have to shield it, of course. And right after we get off this Leaf Blade, we're instantly going to bring in the Munchlax. Which is going to absolutely wall this Haunter. And they are going to leave the match. That's pretty much best case scenario with the team. Now let's get into our set here in the first matchup not every set is going to go like that obviously but just an example of how dominant this team could be and we're going to face a cliff fable in the lead so we are just going to be doing a lot of razor leaf damage here now i found it interesting that he was going with razor leaf as opposed to air slash uh, a lot of tropius do run air slash because they get those charge moves a lot quicker but the Razor Leaf variant will beat Deoxys defense form, and just the raw damage itself of the Razor Leaf comes in handy. Even in situations against Registeel in late game, the uh, Razor Leaf does do quite a fair amount of damage. So we're going to bring in the Munchlax here, and Munchlax can take a Focus Blast. I was trying to switch it on the Flash Can, obviously, which I did not. Uh, the Focus Blast comes through. Now, because I was so late on the switch, actually, he gets to a second charge move, which is a little bit unfortunate. So I'm pretty sure I'm already playing this line wrong. But we're going to go for the Bulldoze here, which will do a very healthy amount if it goes unshielded. Which it does, and now we'll be able to lick down before we get to another charge move. So we do maintain switch advantage, but we did lose both shields. And the Azumarill is going to come in, we're just going to go straight Body Slam here. And these Body Slams will add up. Going to bring in the Tropius and go for this Leaf Blade immediately. They actually choose to shield it up, bring in their Clefable, and I'm looking to farm down here, but we both go down at the same time. Now, obviously, I know what his last Pokemon is, so it's going to come in before ours. Because that Azumarill's already been lowered in health, this is a really good situation for us. We'll just have to get off two Flash Cannons, which we will be able to do before this Azumarill can faint us down. They're going to need another Hydro Pump and subsequent Bubbles. So we're going to beat it to the next charge move here, and they just choose to back out. So we win that first match up here. Uh, if you enjoy this team, obviously Arrow plays in a lot better than I do, so go check out his Twitch channel, watch the videos, see how he performs with it. This team is interesting to me because basically, I was watching his stream about 10 days ago, and he was, he was already ranked 10, but his rating was like 2500 or something. And then earlier today, he was at 3100. So in... The span between those two streams, he's went up like 600 points with his team, so it's obviously really good. Here we're facing the Hypno lead. I am going to switch out, trying to catch this Elemental Punch onto the Munchlax, which I do. He's going to switch out into the Shift Tree. Shift Tree is really interesting Pokemon, does a lot of damage very quickly because of those Snarls, bringing up the Charge Move energy really quickly. So it's just going to spam Charge Moves here. Now the thing is, it's quite glassy, and even a Body Slam will do a lot of damage to it. But unfortunately, it does beat us to the body slam, so we're just gonna let the Munchlax go down here. And at this point, we're up a shield. I'm gonna bring in the Tropius. Go for the Leaf Blade here. Should have probably built up for the Air Slash, to be honest, but if he's gonna shield anyways, which I was expecting, this is likely going to be a foul play here. I choose to shield, he actually baits me with the Leaf Blade. And he brings back in the Hypno. And this is probably going to be an Ice Punch now, I'd assume. Although, when he did use the Thunder Punch when we switched out, that should have probably given away that he wasn't running Ice Punch. So possibly a bad shield on my part. And we're going to go for Leaf Blade, which will KO the Hypno. I could have probably farmed down there. However, uh, it looked like we CMP tied. So I'm going to bring in my own Registeel here. And we have no shields. I'm hoping to catch the Flash Cannon here. It is a Focus Blast, so again, a little late switch. Or early switch, I guess, in that situation. Going for the Focus Blast of my own. This is going to put the Registeel very low. 
but it did get to a charge move at the same time, and this is going to knock out the Registeel. I'm going to bring, or actually he undercharges, which is really smart because his shift is going to get energy, so very well played on his part. Foul play is going to come through, it's not going to KO. I should have went for the air slash there too, um, Leaf Blade is pretty pointless, so I made a lot of mistakes in this match. Uh, as you see, we would have almost certainly have gotten into the air slash, we were just one Razor Leaf away. But, not the most well played match on our end, so we do end up losing that. But we could have won if we made better decisions. Catswoman 2 is up next. She's going to lead with the Haunter. So, in this situation here, I'm just going to stay in with Tropius and let the Haunter do what it has to do to me. And once the Tropius goes down, I will bring in the Munchlax here. Now I am going to get to burn off a shield here from the Haunter at least. And they probably got a little caught off guard that I didn't go for a shield of my own there. But it's because I know I have the Munchlax. He actually switches out, which is really good. And normally I would switch into Munchlax here. But because I know they have a Haunter in the back, I'm just going to bring the Registeel. And again, I was looking to switch into the charge move, but I noticed I was really late on it. So he gets to a Folk's Blast, which I'm going to have to shield. And I think me taking so long to make to switch into the Registeel is actually a mistake, because I've given this opposing Registeel a big energy advantage. But at the same time, I have to consider that I did have a shield advantage. So here I realized I was going to be a Flash Cannon, because I was monitoring my own charge move. And here I make another mistake. Obviously, this is going to be a Flash Cannon because there's no way he got to a Folk's Blast before I got to mine after using a Flash Cannon of his own. So I burned my shield. Very poor decision on my part. Folk's Blast is going to KO the Registeel. We could be up a shield right now, but an error on my part is going to prevent that. Haunter is going to come in. Shadow Ball is going to knock out the Registeel. And I could just bring in the Munchlax here, farm up on this Haunter. Fortunately, there wasn't too much to farm up on, but Tropius comes in. And I know that I did store some extra energy on my own Tropius before I switched out into that Registeel. So I will have close to enough for the Air Slash, if not already there. So what I'm trying to do here is just do as much damage as I possibly can with the Munchlax onto this Tropius. Leaf Blade's going to come through. And now that it's wasted its energy, I'm going to bring in my Tropius and go for the Aerial Ace. Because I know that the, the Tropius has burned all its energy, so it wouldn't get to an Aerial Ace before I do. And I actually have in the background there that the move's Air Slash. It's not Air Slash, it's Aerial Ace. But uh, Tropius goes for Leaf Play. That's going to KO. And I have a Body Slam ready on the Munchlax, which is going to come back in. And this Body Slam is going to knock out the Tropius. So we're going to end up winning that game. And I didn't get the opponent's name for this battle. Sorry about that. But they lead Altaria. So a very unfair matchup for us, of course. Going to instantly switch into the Munchlax here. And Munchlax really operates really well as a safe switch. Uh, worst case scenario, they're going to bring in a fighting type, of course. But a lot of times they come in with like Azumarils or Registeels, and Munchlax actually performs really well against those. As you're going to see here, Azumarill comes in, and we're just going to do a bunch of body slam. And they do chunk away. The Licks are also doing some nice damage to this Azumarill. Ice Beam is going to come through. I'm going to keep on licking down here. And the Body Slam is going to put this Azumarill almost in the red. It's actually going to get to another charge. I choose to let this go through and bring in my Tropius, which will be able to farm down on the Azumarill with some energy. Also possibly force a switch from my opponent, but they choose to let it go down instead. The Altaria comes in. I'm going to switch into the Registeel. And my opponent's actually using their energy here, which I'm totally fine with. And I would expect the switch to come. They're not switching though, which makes me curious as to what they might have in the back. Going for this flash cannon here. And they're going to throw another sky attack at me, so whatever they have in the back must be weak to Registeel, I'm assuming. And they bring in a Feral Thorn. Okay. So I think they were just trying to lower me, or get me to burn a shield maybe with the Altaria, but... Not going to do that with the Registeel here. Going for the Folk's Blast is going to be shielded. And my switch timer is almost up, so I'm going to shield this for sure. And build up to a Focus Blast. Switch here. Go for the Aerial Ace. And this is 
I'm gonna do a decent amount to Ferrothorn, nothing too damaging, but... And now let's see what the Ferrothorn is running as its charge moves. Thunder, so it's Thunder and uh, Power Whip, I think was the other move it showed. So Thunder is actually going to perform a little bit better against the Registeel. He brings in his Altaria, so I'm just going for this Air Lace immediately, and then I'm going to be able to Razor Leaf down. And this Altaria is actually not going to be able to KO. So the Razor Leafs actually, uh, they add up in damage there because they're so quick. And I tried to get to a Charge Whip here, but this is likely only going to be a Power Whip. And Tropius is actually going to survive that, so I actually get to get off a Leaf Blade here. Which wasn't necessary to win this game, but it's going to make it a lot easier, obviously. Switch out into the Registeel, and I still had a shield, so I'm going to shield this, and I, if necessary, I could build up to the Flash Cannon or Focus Blast to win this, but in this range, because we got the Leaf Blade off, we could just farm down with Lock On. And Daddy Rabbit 723 is next up here. Going to lead up the Bastion on, so again, another poor lead for this team. But as we're going to see, uh, the team performs really well. Again, we go into the Munchlax switch. They bring in Toxic. So Toxic Hook is not what you want to see here, of course, because it's going to be really strong against both Munchlax and Registeel. And even with Sludge Bomb, it could do some damage to Tropius. But you can see there, a Body Slam does so much. So because he actually didn't shield, I'm going to shield here. I would have survived that Mud Bomb, that's fine. I know I'll get to this Body Slam. It's either going to force the shield, or he's going to let the Toxic Hook go. I'm okay with either. And he actually tried to farm me down, and we were able to lick down at the same time, so we simultaneously KO. We know he has the Bastion on. I assumed he was probably going to bring in the Bastion on, so I went for Registeel. Brings in Victory Bell, so that's also fine. So we are going to go for these Flash Cannons here. This is also not a Shadow variant of Victory Bell. He lets it go through, so he's really dependent on this Bastion on to win the game. And I'm just going to go with the Leaf Blades here against the Bastion on. And I would expect a Rock Slide to come through soon. Or a Flamethrower. But I would imagine Rock Slide. No, he goes for Flamethrower, okay. And we're able to get to one more Leaf Blade, and this is going to add up, of course. So the Bastion on is almost gone. And at this point, I know I could survive Anything the Bastion on throws here, even a flamethrower. I'm gonna try to commit to a farm down here. And we are able to. And this Victory Bell is gonna come in. It has energy. I'm gonna burn the shield first. And even if it hits me with like an acid spray, it is going to lower the defense, which is going to be sort of problematic because those razor leaves are gonna be doing more. But it's so low that we should be able to farm down with lock on here. We actually get to the Flash Cannon. It didn't look like we were going to be able to farm down, actually. So we do get to the Flash Cannon here. And we're going to win by the skin of our teeth after that Acid Spray comes through. So we end up winning that game as well. And we go 4-1 and one in that set. So even despite those unfavorable leads, we ended up winning 4 matches. And this team overall performs really well. If you guys enjoyed this video, please consider checking out Arrow. Um, subscribe to this channel for more daily content. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.